three houses, kids about two hundred dollars. The fake fifty from the yard sale was brought here to this Staten Island diner. The cashier quickly figured out the bill was bogus. The diner owner showed us when marked with this pen, the ink on the bills should stay yellow, indicating they're real. But on the fifty, it turned black instead. No good. He says the texture will tell you, and also suggest this common banker and merchant's trick. If you hold it up towards the light, Jackson's right there. You can see a watermark right there. That helps too. Police are working with federal investigators to try and find the suspect, who victims describe as short, heavy set in her 40s with short brown hair. DeFrancesco knows the chances of getting money back are slim to none. So at her next yard sale, in the 20s or 50s will be accepted. Be very careful. What's this walking <laughs> Eager to get this solved are neighbors who say while the money is funny, the crime is not. On Staten Island, Dave Carlin, CBS 2 News. Investigators are looking into whether the same suspects were at another Staten Island yard sale just a few weeks ago and unloaded fake money there as well. New video has been released of a deadly police shooting near San Diego. Surveillance video shows 38-year-old Alfred Alongo walking erratically. Investigators say his sister called 911 when he became distraught after learning a friend had died. Two officers started to approach him. Police say Alongo was pointing what turned out to be a vaping device at the officers. They say one officer fired his gun four times at him and the other officer fired a stun